Let's separate the impactful from the insignificant with one simple question. News or noise? Let's start in Cleveland here, Michael, where Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson was limited at practice yesterday with arm soreness. Of course, his season last year was cut short due to season-ending shoulder surgery. He has not been the same quarterback with the Browns that he was with the Houston Texans. Is this news or noise that he's dealing with some preseason soreness? Oh, it's definitely news. I mean, when a quarterback has arm soreness, that's a concern. You know, and when you're coming off a shoulder injury with arm soreness, that's a concern. So, yeah, I think this is something to monitor. And, you know, look, they have Jameis Winston. They have Tyler Huntley. They're trying to trade Dorian Thompson Robinson. We'll see how that works out. But for me, I think this is news. I think you have to be concerned. Deshaun Watson's only started 12 games. He threw for 1,116 yards last year or 14 you know, in six games. So he has not been very good playing quarterback. And this is a team that needs him to play well to be an effective team and make the run as they open up the season as a two and a half point favorite against the Cowboys. And I think a lot of people are going to lean towards taking the Brownies because of all the negativity. Yeah. But I'm not sure that it's at the point now where it's a little contrarian. And you might think about Dallas because There's nothing that's happened in Cleveland with their offensive line, with their quarterback, that leads you to believe that this offense is going to score more than 20 points. Yeah, had a flip of favorites in that game. Lots of money coming in on the Cleveland Browns because of what's been going on in Dallas. To your point, Deshaun Watson also a 40-1 to shot for comeback player of the year. This next one, Michael, I feel like nobody's talking about for some reason. Joey Bosa held out of practice again, dealing with a wrist hand injury, has not been on the field since a joint practice with the Rams on August 4th. Is this news or noise? because I think it's news. I think it's news because he's always hurt. One of the things that bothers you about Joey is he can't seem to stay healthy. He's a really good player. He's an effective player. He, he's even been a role player, but he's not been a full-time healthy player. And so when he has a nick, whether it's a pain tolerance nick or whether it's a legitimate injury, you have to be concerned. It is noise. It is news. Yeah. Back-to-back, injury-riddled seasons, limited to just 14 out of 34 possible games in 2022, limited to just five as he had surgery to repair an injured groin. Uh, Again, big news, in my opinion, that he's still dealing with another thing here. Tyreek Hill also skipped some team drills during joint practices with the Bucs this week. We saw he had a brace on his hand the other day dealing with a thumb issue. The star wide receiver, favorite for Offensive Player of the Year, news or noise? Well, I think it's news. Anytime a receiver has something wrong with his hands, wrist, you know, arm, shoulder, you have to be concerned. So I think it is news. And he set out. Look, one thing about Tyreek Hill is a tough guy. He wants to participate. He's not going to run away from competition. So for him to sit out, it's news. Seven to one favorite for offensive player of the year. He was on pace last year to break the record for single season receiving before dealing with a little bit of an injury. Kyle Shanahan, Michael, says he's not worried about Christian McCaffrey's calf. I got to tell you, I am, though, because we know in his history with the Carolina Panthers, one thing would kind of lead to another, lead to another. While the workload was very different in Carolina than it is in San Francisco, and they've talked about potentially limiting his touches a little bit this year, I don't like the sound of a preseason calf injury and what that could lead to. News or noise? I think it's noise because I think one thing I've learned about Christian McCaffrey, he's, you know, he's been on teams that both my sons have coached for is this guy is diligent and I mean diligent he will spare uh, no time and nor expense to make sure he's 100% healthy and I have full confidence that he will be 100% healthy Shanahan said he is obsessed with his regimen trying to get back to full health but fellow running backs Elijah Mitchell and rookie Isaac Garendo were also dealing with a couple of injuries they returned to practice yesterday which is a positive side but pretty dinged up running back room right now the Lions have been dinged up all over the place but Dan Campbell says his plan is to get Jameer Gibbs and Sam Laporta back going next week but then I saw a report that Penny Sewell left practice yesterday with a foot injury limped to the bench headed to the locker room news or noise I think it's news, but I'm not sure it's real big news okay. because they said he should be fine. It's a sprain. And the big fella's pretty tough, and he's really good. And I think for sure he'll play in a game opening weekend on Sunday night when we get to see Al's tie again, which we're all looking forward to, to see how that knot's perfectly tied. Uh, I fully expect Sewell to be there opening weekend. There's no boot. There's no cat. There's none of that. So that to me, it's news that he had the injury. 
but it's almost noise that he's not going to play. Yeah, and I think it's news, too, that Gibbs and Laporta are expected to be back. Yes. Very important weapons on that offense. For the Buffalo Bills, they have been racking up injuries themselves, but head coach Sean McDermott said wide receiver Curtis Samuel could play week one against the Cardinals. He's been dealing with turf toe news or noise. Uh, I think it's news. I definitely think it's news because, look, you know, when, when you deal with these turf toe injuries, they're a problem. You know, it's not easy to come back from them. I, I, I think you have to be really careful how you handle turf toe because with turf toe, it, it, it really is – it becomes, you know, it becomes a, a, a an issue and it, it lingers and yep. it lingers and it lingers. And if you don't get it handled, it's a real problem. How about this last one? Mike Tomlin says Jalen Warren's out this week with a hamstring that was suffered in the week two preseason game. But it's, quote, not anything that's a long term concern. We saw reports from Jordan Schultz, who said he could out, be out multiple weeks. Jerry Dulac said the expectation is he'll be ready for the season opener. So we're getting a lot of conflicting things here. News or noise? Well, I think this is news because I do think you can't predict what hamstrings are going to do, right? Hamstrings are so dependent on the player, depending on the severity. We don't know that. You know, the fact that Shorts has him out multiple weeks is probably true. But look, Warren needs to extend himself and needs to burst. And if that's if there's no power in the hamstring, then he's not going to play. We know he's important, as we have seen in the preseason, these quarterbacks for Pittsburgh really struggling so far. Their starting center is expected to be sidelined with a torn rotator cuff for a good amount of time. So this offense wants to get things clicking. Got to get healthy along the way as well.